Ever since I can remember, I've been jealous of my sister, Samantha. All anybody ever wants to talk about is how gorgeous she is. My name is Marjorie, but everybody knows me as Samantha's little sister, even though I'm 20 years old. The worst part of growing up with a beauty queen like Samantha is having all your boyfriends jump ship and become obsessed with her. Before I tell you about Samantha and all my boyfriends, go ahead and like and subscribe for more hidden wisdom stories. I didn't mind living in Samantha's shadow so much when I was a kid, but when I got to high school, things really hit the fan. She totally stole my first real boyfriend, who I'd been hiding from Samantha for almost a month before she spotted us on a date. My boyfriend and I skipped school one day and went to the water park. Well, I didn't know that Samantha was going to be applying for a job at the water park that day, and she totally busted us, making out in the lazy river. She hung around a long time, waiting for me to introduce her, even though she knew I wanted her to just go away. For weeks, all I heard about was Samantha and how he couldn't believe she was my sister. He started coming by the house more and spent the whole time talking to Samantha. My boyfriend was kind of popular and it was definitely a step up in my social game. Or at least that's what I thought before he broke up with me through a freaking text message. But that's not even the half of it. About a week later, I heard all over my school that he was now dating my sister. And sure enough, somebody spread a picture of them kissing. It was the most god-awful, gut-wrenching experience ever. Since then, I felt like I could never measure up, and as a result, I didn't date a lot. I was the queen of single lately, and I ate a lot of dinners alone. One evening, I saw a homeless woman near a bus stop, and I pulled over to give her my leftovers, but she said that she couldn't take the food for free and wanted to trade me something out of her shopping cart. I told her I didn't need anything, but she insisted. There was a real seriousness to her face, so I humored her. I couldn't imagine that I'd find anything, but before I looked too deep into her basket, she grabbed my wrist and pulled me close. I know what you need, she said. You need love. I didn't know if she was some kind of gypsy or what, but then she took off her necklace and gave it to me. The chain was looped into this vile container that had this red liquid inside. And the lady told me that it was a love potion, that I could use it to cast a spell. She said it was no laughing matter, and then she shared her spell with me. To whom I did always love, I bring thee proof. Whoever ingested the potion and heard the words would fall madly in love with whoever recited the spell. She wrote it down on an old chunk of cardboard like a recipe and left me with a warning. That being loved isn't always a pizza party. And then she started rambling about indigestion and I figured that was my cue to get out of there. I put the love potion in my perfume drawer and left it in there without a thought until Samantha told me that she met the perfect guy and had fallen in love. In all my life, I never saw Samantha nervous. His name was Jay, and she couldn't stop talking about him. Apparently, he was this kind of famous skateboard guy who was loaded like she'd never seen before. And more importantly, he was an animal lover and started his own rescue shelter for kittens. For the first time in her life, Samantha had met her match. Well, that night, I had this weird dream where Samantha's new boyfriend kissed me, and when I woke up, I had the strangest thought. What if I stole him from Samantha? It was a thought I couldn't take back. My whole life, I watched her snatch up all the guys that once, just once. I wanted to see that perfect, pretty face of hers handle rejection. I tried to push the thought out of my mind, but I saw that gypsy lady again. This time, she was on the corner of the street holding a sign reading, you've already made your decision. What if she was speaking to me? What if the potion really worked? The more I wondered about it, the more I realized I had nothing left to lose. A few weeks later, Samantha invited me out to meet Jay, 
and I told her I wouldn't miss it for the world. I got out the potion and found the spell. I said the words over and over, rehearsing till it was stuck in my memory. I showed up to the restaurant to find Jay and Samantha properly coupled up. She was right about Jay. In addition to being well off, he was really good looking. When Samantha went to the restroom, I knocked over a glass of water. And when Jay wasn't looking, I put a few drops of the potion into his beer. I watched him take a gulp, and then I looked at him in the eyes and whispered, To whom I did always love, I bring thee proof. He was dazed and confused by the phrase. Samantha came back from the bathroom, and she could immediately tell that something was up with us. Jay was hanging on my every word. He would listen to me read the phone book if I had let him. Samantha must have felt like third wheel on her own date. He barely noticed she was there, and her face was growing red with jealousy. Finally, I had my vindication. I figured he would forget about me, but as soon as I got home, Jay started calling and texting. He professed his love and told me that he needed me and would do anything to be near me. I told him that was impossible because he was with my sister. I couldn't believe the love potion had worked. But then I remembered the gypsy lady's warning that love wasn't always a pizza party. I didn't really think about what it meant at the time, but Jay would not stop calling. And eventually I had to block him just to get some sleep. But Samantha was pounding on my door first thing in the morning. At first I was confused when I opened the door. I saw her in tears. I tried to hug her, but she told me not to touch her. She said she was here to let me know I could have him. It took me a moment to put it all together, but Samantha caught me up. Jay told her the news that he was in love with me. Samantha was a mess. She was making a puddle crying about how she really thought he cared for her. I tried to explain to her that I didn't love him back and that it wasn't really Jay's fault, that I might have done something. What did you do? she asked. My mind started searching for a quick lie, but I knew it would only make things worse. So I admitted everything. I showed her the love potion. I told her all about the lady with the shopping cart. She didn't believe me, but I said I could prove it and solve her problem at the same time. If we give him the potion and she recites the words, he'd fall in love with her again. Problem solved. But Samantha was bothered by something else. She wanted to know why I wanted to seduce Jay to begin with, and all my resentment came pouring out. I said that she ruined my love life just being herself and that I hated living in her shadow. And I resented her for stealing my boyfriend in high school. What? she asked. I never stole your boyfriend. But he told everyone in school, I said. But Samantha had a different story entirely. Apparently he tried to hit on my sister, but she chased him off. Suddenly, the truth was so obvious. My old boyfriend was the liar. Samantha said it wasn't fun to be stalked by guys or to be obsessed over. I was about to roll my eyes, but just then, I heard Jay's voice over a megaphone. I looked out the window to my apartment, and there was Jay lying on the street on a blanket of roses that he picked just for me. He was singing love songs to me over the speaker and I felt so embarrassed I just wanted to disappear. It's so true what they say. The grass is always greener on the other side of the fence. I finally got a taste of what it was like to be Samantha and it was bitter. Samantha struggled with finding her true love, just like me. Finally realizing that helped us bond and now I'm going to keep my eyes back on my side of the fence. We tricked Jay into falling back in love with Samantha, and all was right in the world. I even found out that Jay has a brother, so who knows, maybe Samantha and I have more in common than I thought. Have you ever been jealous of someone close to you? Tell us about it in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more Hidden Wisdom Stories. Remember when you share our stories, you're sharing wisdom.